Hello, good afternoon. I do thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2. Now, as we move right along in the extraordinary African Americans, next um, is going to be Jermaine Wesley, and I think it's pronounced La Julian, which is L O G U E N. Now, he was an abolitionist minister. Underground Railroad Conductor, the time period 1813 to 1872. And it reads as such, Harriet Tubman helped 300 people escape from slavery, but she needed the help of abolitionist Germaine Wesley LeJuian to gain her own freedom. Now, LeJuian was born near Nashville, Tennessee, his mother, a free African American, had been kidnapped and sold to David Lejui. Now, although Lejui became Jermaine's father, he cared nothing about the boy or his mother, and sold them both. The suffering his mother had to endure, the sale of his sister, and the brutal murder of another slave, convinced Lejuian to run away. Now LeJulian was 21 when he escaped north to Detroit, Michigan, and then to Canada, where he went to school. Returning to the United States, he continued his education at the Oneida Institute in New York. Now later, he opened two schools for African American children in New York. In 1842, he became an ordained Methodist minister and established an abolition church in five smaller churches. Now, during this period, he changed the name his father had given him, Jarm Lejui, to Germain Lejuian. Now, Lejuian strongly supported the movement to end slavery. He worked closely with Frederick Douglass and often wrote articles for Douglass's North Star newspaper. Now, LeJuian was also an important conductor on the Underground Railroad. Tubman was just one of approximately 1,500 runaway slaves he helped to escape. Now, after the end of the Civil War and the passage of the 13th Amendment, which ended slavery, LeJuin became more active in the African Methodist S. Episcopal, hopefully I said that correctly, and excuse me for having a little bit of trouble with that word, Zion Church. He is most remembered, however, for his work as an abolitionist and conductor on the Underground Railroad. Now, at a time when such activities could have led to his imprisonment, re-enslavement, or even death, Lejuin stood fast and helped 1,500 runaways ride the Underground Railroad Freedom Train. All right. Certainly do uh, thank you for your attention and for tuning in. Certainly like what you're listening to while we're going through history. Feel free to subscribe. Next in line that we're going to be talking about is Frederick Douglass, an abolitionist, newspaper editor, and an orator. So stay tuned, because I'll be hollering at you real soon. But until then, certainly, peace and blessing upon you. All right, y'all. Later.